Hi friend, so February 26 has come and gone and maybe you didn't get around to downloading your Amazon books before the deadline. Now you may be thinking, what can you do? Well, don't worry, in this video I'm going to go through exactly that. Amazon has definitely made it harder to download the books you've purchased and some of the methods don't work anymore. But the good news is there are still ways to back up your books and I'm going to walk you through all the options that are still available. Now, you may be asking why even bothering backing up your books? There are a few serious reasons. First, Amazon could lose the licensing rights to a book, meaning you may lose access to it in the future. Second, you may want to see if you can remove DRM and read your books on other devices, not just your Kindle. Personally, I think that's fair, and I know a lot of people feel the same way. Of course, depending on where you live, this may not be completely legal. My approach to this is simple. If I paid for the book and I'm just using it on another device in my own household without selling it, sharing it, altering it, or benefiting from it in any shady way, I think that's reasonable. That's why I've made a few videos in the past about removing DRM from your purchased books, and I plan to keep covering this in the future. But to be clear, this video isn't about DRM removal. This is all about how you can access and back up your books. If you do want DRM removal tutorials, I've got some linked at the end of this video. But hey, let's make a deal. If this video gets 500 likes, I will make a brand new step-by-step -step guide on all the current methods for removing DRM just to complement this video. So if you find this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below. All right, let's start with the first method, getting your books directly from a Kindle e-reader. This works if you have a basic Kindle, Paperwhite, Colorsoft, Scribes or pretty much any Kindle model. The idea here is simple. First, download the books onto your Kindle, then copy the right file from the device to your computer. This works on both Windows and Mac. Step one, download your books to the Kindle. First, make sure the book is actually downloaded onto your Kindle. Just open your Kindle library, find your purchased book and double tap to download it. If the book opens or you've been reading it recently, that means it's already stored on the device. Step two, connect your Kindle to a computer. Now plug your Kindle into your PC or Mac using a USB cable. Your computer should recognize the device like an external hard drive. On Windows, go to this PC, Kindle, Documents, Downloads, and Items01 folder. This is where all your downloaded books are stored. Step three, locate the right files. Look for files in KFX format. This stands for Kindle Format 10. You may also see other folders and file types here, but that's totally normal. To keep things simple, sort by file type, copy all the KFX books and paste them into a Kindle backup folder on your computer. At this point, you've successfully backed up your book, so well done. But keep in mind, these files have the DRM protection, meaning you won't be able to open them on your PC just yet. If you try using a program like Calibre, you will just get an error message saying the book is DRM protected. Now, if you only have one Kindle, you can skip this part, but if you have multiple Kindle devices, here's something I do to stay organized. I create a blank text file inside the Kindle backup folder, and I write down the serial number of the Kindle I use to download the books. To find your Kindle serial number on your Kindle, go to Settings, tap the three dots at the top right corner, Device Info. It's right there. And if you have multiple Amazon accounts, it's also a good idea to write down which account the books came from. This way, if you ever need to reference these files later, you will know exactly which Kindle and Amazon account they belong to. Now, if you're using a Mac, the process is mostly the same. The only difference is that your Kindle won't show up automatically like it does on Windows machine. To fix this, you need to install the Send to Kindle app from Amazon's website. I will put a link in the description for the download. Once installed, your Mac should recognize the Kindle and you can follow the same steps to find and copy your books. And that's it, you've now backed up your Kindle book successfully. Now, if you're using the Kindle app for Windows, you can download books and create a solid backup of your purchased content. Plus, if you ever decide to remove DRM later, this method keeps that option open. Let's talk about the method. Step one, install an older version of Kindle for PC. To do this, I recommend installing an older version of Kindle for PC, specifically version 2.4.0, 
build 70904. This version allows books to download in AZW format, which is more lenient and has a higher chance of DRM removal. Step 2. Prevent automatic updates. Once you've installed the version, there are two important things to do. First, we need to stop the app from updating itself in the background. To do that, open Kindle for PC, go to Tools, Options, and uncheck the option Automatically Install Updates when they are available without asking me. I also uncheck Capture Anonymous Crash Reports just to be on the safe side. Then save the changes. Second, I run a script called disable underscore k4pc underscore download.bat. Why would I do this? Well, we've seen cases where disabling updates through the settings wasn't enough and the app still forced an update. This bat file prevents that from happening. You can download it from the link in the description. Run it on your PC and that's it. Updates should be completely blocked. Step 3. Find where Kindle stores your books. Next, we need to find directory where Kindle saves downloaded books. Open the Kindle app, go to Tools, Content. Here you will see the default directory where books are stored. I like to open this folder in a separate window before I start downloading books so it's easy to access and I see what's going on. Step 4. Download and locate the right files. Now let's download the books. Double click on a book or right click and select download. Once it's downloaded, you will notice that a new folder is created with the book's AC number as its name. Inside that folder, look for a file in AZW format. That's your book. From here, you can copy the AZW file and store it locally on your PC. And that's it, you've successfully backed up your Kindle books from the Kindle app. Now, if you're using the Kindle app for Mac, unfortunately this process won't be as useful as the PC method. While the app does store downloaded books on your Mac, the files come in different formats, like AZW8 or AZW9, which are more advanced KFX formats. At the moment, there's no known way to remove DRM from these files. However, if anything changes, I will leave an update in the pinned comment below this video. Now, what about those using Kindle for Android? There has been some success running Android emulator software on both Mac and PC, to install all their versions of Kindle for Android and obtain Kindle ebooks in the PRC file format, which works with DRM removal software. The strategy here is to emulate an older Android device, install an older Kindle app, and then download and extract your book files. I won't be covering the emulation process here since it's fairly complex, but if you have an older Android phone or tablet running Android 5 or 6, you may be able to download books using an old Kindle version, like version 4.16.0.75. If you decided to go this route, I will leave a directory on the screen right here where your downloaded books are stored on your phone or tablet. I've tested this method and yes, it does work. It allowed me to get PRC files of my purchased books. However, removing DRM this way takes a few extra steps and requires a Windows machine. If you'd like a step-by-step -step guide, let me know in the comments and I will consider making a separate video on this process. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and thank you very much to all the members right here. I appreciate your support. Also, I'm a photographer and drone photographer and if you're interested in beautiful digital artwork as a wallpaper for your TV, tablet or mobile, I create digital paintings that you can check out with the link in the description. It's a great way to support the channel. And if you want to learn more about DRM removal, check out these videos right here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!